वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल दिस इज द प्लेस वे यू कैन लर्न माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इन ट्यून टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू से यू हाउ यू कैन हाउ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इज सपोर्टिंग आई एस एटीन फ्रॉम डे जीरो वन सो एज यू कैन सी इन इन दिस आर्टिकल राइट विच माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इज पब्लिश विथ एपल रिसेंट अनाउंसमेंट विथ आई एस एटीन दे विल बी सपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम G from the day one, and I mean not day one. I mean zero day. I mean starting from day of the release. So today is fifteenth of September. Tomorrow on sixteen sixteenth of September, Apple will uh, will meet iOS eighteen as a public release. So if you have any devices which is actually supporting iOS eighteen, uh, they can be upgraded. They they. and they can be upgraded to iOS 18 and you can upgrade to iOS 18 and Microsoft Intune will support those iOS 18 so this is actually very good moment and and you can see iOS 18.1 is coming with AI as well i have already made on video on this one and what are the things you can restrict it through right so uh if you see here uh, with if you are using uh apple device enrollment apple automated device enrollment for your company on devices through intune so if you are intune tenant is running on this this versions you can block the apple intelligence right in during the setup assistant phase so the user will not able to see during the setup activating the iphone or ipad uh, there are other settings are also available which you can use along with the mdm or through the ddm as well you see here ddm is a declarative device management and it will also available on 2409 release okay so get ready for ios 18 and uh and you know uh, they have mentioned right you see we microsoft has continued to invest in data driven infrastructure that power the settings enabling us to provide day zero support for new settings as they release not only support day zero for ios 18 there are new settings as well as they have released by apple the apple setting catalogs has been updated to support all the newly ios 18 mac os so for both declarative device management DDM and the mobile device management so that your team can have your devices ready for day zero. The new settings for DDM include. So you see, these are the settings for DDM and MDM as well. For like you can block, enable or block file vault for Mac devices. Carveros restrictions you can apply on iOS devices. I think these are the like you can. uh allow or block the iphone mirroring writing tools image vent uh these are the settings you can apply in by using the restrictions policy so if you go here you go to ios and create a configurations policy for ios devices you can create a new policies right you can use the template go to the device restrictions click that apply the restrictions policy like ios 8 i will give restrictions restrictions policy you can give any name whatever you want and you can expand it so currently my setting uh, my uh, intune is not uh, intune version is not on 2489 so not sure let me cancel this one go to the tenant administration and i will check so i am on service release 2408 but here <coughs> uh it will support only 2409 right so make sure uh your service release your intune tune in should be running on 2409 then you will able to do all these handwriting result and everything you can block and enable it with the ddm you can also do uh, with the new mdm you can also non -re removable system extensions and removable and you can also hide or deny list of url through weave content filter 
I hope you 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 since we are following this channel you are following this channel so I just want to make inform about this zero day support for IOS 18 I hope you already know or aware and just to if you want to leverage or block or anything through DDM or ADM follow this link and apply to your tenant till then thank you have a good day bye bye